Working with relational data. This demo on module 2 working with Canvas app. In this demo, we will learn how to create blank Canvas app and how to use Excel as a data source, create master and detailed pages, create navigations between screens, and we will work with formula. First, I will create a blank Canvas app. You can create it from the make site or from the create power apps site directly. The two ways is the same. It will open for you a blank canvas app and you should design your app screen by screen. In this app we will use an excel file as a data source and as we learned that Power Apps isn't a cloud storage so you have to store your data in somewhere and connect it to it using the proper connector. Here I will save the file in OneDrive, upload file and choose your excel file. I already uploaded it before. Let's see the structure of the excel file. And you have to know that the Excel files that you want to use must have a proper structure to use with Power Apps. First of all, you have to put your data in the Excel file in form of tables. This is the only way that Power Apps can deal with the data from the Excel file. As you see, this is the table that I will use in my app, the guide table. Also, you have to know if you will use images the column name must be with this format image of image and make sure that you type the bus correctly here I bring the image from the app images folder and then backslash write the name of the image this is the structure of the excel file then now we have a blank canvas app and our data sources are stored in OneDrive in the excel form we wanted to connect the blank canvas app with the excel file using the proper connection I will insert a vertical gallery here in the data source there is no data source found so we have to create a connection between the OneDrive and the Power Apps to bring the data from the excel file to display in the gallery from the data source in the connection select OneDrive this connection will bring all your file from the OneDrive so you will choose the files that contain your data here i will choose the guide file it brings the table that were in the file as we said that is the only one that power apps deal with tables from the excel file now it preparing the connection and bring your data to your app assign the excel table as a data source of the gallery as you see it brings the data to the gallery let's do some customization for example, we will insert a header, label, in the text, tour guide, change the properties of the width to be the size of the app, app.width. This property, what we call the formula let's do some customization you can do the customization line center uh, fill background and do the customization that you want uh, second we want to make the gallery to get the rest of the height of the app in the height properties write the formula app dot height minus this label dot height label one dot height to take the rest of the height of the app and make the y position to be the label dot height to begin from the label dot height let's run the app this is the app next we want to create master and detail page let's rename this screen to be master i will create another screen blank screen for the detailed page detailed this is screen i want to win pressing the arrow to be navigated to the detailed screen from the unselect property of the arrow write the formula navigate detail the name of the screen that i want to navigate let's run as you see it run to the blank screen of details let's design the detailed screen i will insert a form 
edit I will insert a form display form assign the data source the guide table and edit the field this as the field this that you want to display in this form add customize your form is customize your form I want when the user when the user press the arrow button to bring the selected row to the detailed screen so from the form viewer here on the item on the item property write the gallery one dot selected gallery one dot selected as you see it brings the correct data let's create a navigation to be back to the master page insert an icon back icon on the on select navigate master now let's run when pressing the back icon it returns it back to the master screen now let's do some customization for example here i want to be this image to be rounded images select the card of the image and from the property the radius to bright choose the proper name of the card data card value one dot height minus data card value one dot width all over two I will copy this formula and put it for the radius top left radius bottom right radius bottom left as you see it began to be rounded the image position to be center and from the width property I will write the formula to take minimum of app dot width over two or app dot height over three. As you see, it not centralized for the x position. Write the formula app dot width over two minus data card value one. It will centralize the image as you see. Runs, let's run the app as you see it works correctly the navigation the detailed image back to the master and the rounded images